You've heard of it, you love it. We're adding some carbon fiber to my GR Corolla, as well as a plethora of other parts over the next week. But we're gonna start with a little, uh, you know, a little here, a little there, a little carbon fiber stuff. So the next parts will be more performance oriented, but we gotta give a little love to this. It's already a very aggressive looking car. I am the peasant about the core model that doesn't have any carbon fiber, so why not add our own? And today we're gonna be doing the GR Mods carbon fiber fender vents. Whatever this is, the, the window, the triangle, the thing with the, the line on it, this thing. Oh, the front vent covers, which are these things. Yeah! So we're doing those in carbon fiber. Now, GR Mods has a bunch of other carbon fiber parts. We were doing these to start because I thought those would be cool, but we have all these on our site as well. They're available in gloss forge carbon fiber as well as classic like weave carbon fiber and also matte forge and weave carbon fiber. And we chose matte weave. So let's unwrap what we got and see what we're looking like. I'll be honest, when the car first came out, I really wanted to get carbon fiber stuff made. So we reach out to a composite company in order to do that. Now, not only did they take so long that other people release theirs before ours, but on top of that, the demo pieces that they sent us to, to test, they don't fit at all. They just don't clip in. So that was money well spent. Probably won't use them anymore. Anyways, we failed and others did better. So if you can't beat them, join them. So we reached out, whoa, we reached out to GR Mods in order to stock their carbon fiber parts. These are very nice. They have 3D printed mounts just like ours do, but uh, these ones I suppose actually fit, which is cool. We want the matte weave carbon fiber. These also have the factory vents right there. I think ours would were cool, but it'd be cooler if they fit. So shout out to that place for taking my money. Let's go ahead and uh, focus on the good stuff. Let the good times roll and now we actually have some that fit. Now the reason I chose the matte carbon fiber is I did want something a little more subtle. I think for me personally, I've had like a lot of gloss carbon fiber. I'm not too worried about it fading over time, but I think with the matte, it would look good. I don't think it would show any sort of like sun fade or sun damage over time as much as a gloss or gel coat might. These are the fender ones, if you couldn't tell. They go on the fenders. Some other ones here. All right, we have the vent covers, I guess. First off, I do like all the clips and everything. These are actually like really nice quality. They, I'm sure they mimic the factory ones, which are great. It looks like they're 3D printed. I can't tell about these ones. They might be resin printed, but nice little mesh on there. I do like that touch, a little detail to it. You could take it off if you want. I'll probably leave it on, because why not? But it is black mesh, which I hate silver mesh. So with these, because they are full replacements, as opposed to other companies that have covers or overlays, with those, you would normally use like a double-sided tape that they come with to stick them on. These I like because they are full replacements. I don't wanna to have to worry about the covers falling off or because they're in the front of the car, having like wind gusts like blow them off. So, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install these. I know with the fender garnishes, they pop off fairly easily if you just put your fingers in there and pull. With these guys, it looks like there's three of those same clip types. So we'll figure out how to get those off. We do have some panel pliers. Let's go, let's figure it out. So for the fender vents, these have four push clips. Now, if you don't know where they are, you can very easily just look at the replacements that we have. There's two on the bottom and then one kind of right near the GR point, the points to it, and then one up towards the front. Now for these, I found it's easiest just to literally put your fingers in there and kind of just like give it a, give it a bit of a yank. Easy enough. And you are gonna reuse these clips from the factory. It's a lot easier to make the mounting points than it is to try to mimic a clip. A lot of times too, like aftermarket clips won't fit super well. So I do appreciate that we are just gonna be reusing the factory ones here. All right, we got all the clips out. So we're just going to put these into the new ones. There we go. All right, we got our clips in. Let's see how we're looking here. Wow, they actually fit. That's great news. Cool, looks good. I really like the matte carbon fiber. I think it really plays to the uh, car. And you know what I just, I didn't even think about this. I have the core, so it does not have the gloss grill or rear bumper panels. Like the trim isn't gloss, it's that kind of matte. So I actually think that the matte carbon fiber looks really good with the matte pieces of plastic all over my plastic car. So yeah, I'm kind of stoked that I went for those instead of gloss, looks pretty good.
And in a matter of minutes, I'm looking much fancier. Let me tell you, the class on these, it's like I'm driving a Lexus. So next up are gonna be these pieces. Oh, okay, I'm gonna boldly pull them and they popped off beautifully. That's good news. Now I see on this, it has like this like rubber kind of molding here and that one doesn't. So let's go see if that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even look at the instructions to see if we're supposed to transfer this over. All right, I am seeing that we're two gaskets shy. They're probably on the car side. Usually these little like fabric-y, like kind of foam gaskets will stick in the car half the time. It looks like that's what happened. So I am gonna make sure that I pull those off and put them on here. Yeah, there's one and two. So I did notice that the new ones obviously don't have the little gasket thing here. So uh, if you put them on as they are, it, it's fine. There is a little bit of a gap, which this kind of makes up for. So personally, I'm gonna try to transfer it over. Now it's plastic welded on these little rivets here, but because it's rubber, you can just literally kind of flex it over. I'll get a close up shot here, Jordan. We're just gonna pull it and pull it over. Now, I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach this to the, if I'm gonna attach it to the car or the window vent itself. Let's get a closer look and maybe do a few different takes. What's the best way to do this? Well, there's a couple different ways we could do it. One, I can use like silicone or some sort of adhesive. We can use some sort of like glue to hold it on. Now glue's gonna take time and I'm trying to finish this up like now. So we could use like a 3M tape or my personal favorite, what I actually find works much better than 3M tape, sometimes it has issues with adhesion, is actually the tape that you use to close cell phones if you change the screen. Now, for my time at Apple, you could actually buy that tape. I think it's called VHT tape. It's clear, it's small, you can get a bunch of different widths, but that stuff sticks to like almost anything, and it does really, really well with rubber gaskets like this. We've used it before for headlights. Anytime like a rubber gasket falls off a headlight, we always use that tape. So I'm gonna give that a go. I might put a little bit of silicone like in between it, but the tape will hold it on while the silicone cures. So let's give that a shot. All right, two down, one to go. Already, really liking the look. Jordan, behind the camera, even mentioned the uh, window trim, factory window trim, like that satin is like the same exact kind of texture as the carbon pieces. So even though this is not carbon fiber, it kind of fits right at home, so. So, little oversight on my part. It appears as though there's two different screw holes. One here, one here, and some pretty heavy duty clips. I'm assuming that because these are made off the factory that those ones are the same way. We are gonna have to go through the wheel well to do this. Now, I do have to change the oil on this, like, tomorrow. I'm just gonna do that at the same time. I'll have the under tray off, I'll be able to open the wheel well, flap on the bottom, and access these. So I'm gonna be in a different outfit, that's why. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's not tomorrow, it's a few days later, but we are ready to go ahead and install the front carbon fiber vents. It has been snowing, it is currently snowing. Look at the snow out here. Why is this happening still? I know I live in New York, I always complain. All right, now that I'm covered in the snow, we're gonna go ahead and install these. So like I said before, we're gonna try to go through the back wheel wells. I do believe there are two screws holding each of these on. We'll find out very shortly. Let us proceed. Turn we go. So these two bolts are gonna hold the passage that lets the air come from the vent through up here. There's like a plastic piece that runs down. I think I'm gonna have to take that off, but let's just leave it for now and see where, where we're looking. Taking this guy out. Now this does slip onto the vent as well as onto this little trim piece. And I know some people have to trim this for but they lower the car and put wheels on. So this is the piece that some people have to trim. It kind of sticks into the wheel well. Two screws. Yep, one at the top, one halfway down. Would this be easier with the bumper off? Sure. Is it necessary? No. Now, I would say if we had a traditional lift where I can get underneath it, it'd probably be even easier if I was like laying down even. I think it's loosening. A lot of room up here. What? These tabs I'm just gonna push out. Wow. Good. Oh yeah, dude, look at that. Should fit. Cool. So even with the uh, the mesh over that 
we still get some nice, uh, nice slippage. GR mods did a nice job of having these made. Looks about right, yeah. We're clipped. Now let's screw. We are carbon fibered up. Thank you, GR Mods. We do have all of these and more on the store, like I said before. So if you like these videos, support us. This is how we can do these and do fun stuff is you guys buy the cool stuff we sell. Anyways, I'm gonna do a quick oil change on the car and then we'll pull it out and get some, uh, some glamour shots. So. so check them out outside in the snow, sun, whatever, and check them out on the site too. Thanks.